about Uzbekistan right now. It's a giant fortress and it's super old and super cool. We're chasing the bad guy with Apple of Eve and there's some guards here and I'll, that's always the funnest part. We got Bacruz, my boy, my boy Wonder in the hood, our fellow local. Bacruz is carrying the glide cam. Yes, sir. And he hasn't dropped it yet today. <laughs> Easy. So we're filming with the locals in Kiva. Incredible locals. Round of applause for the locals! So the locals in Kiva all making this production happen. So just everyone coming together, like not actors, but real authentic locals. Even this guy right here. <laughs> so a minute ago, this was empty, there's nothing here. But you start putting props in like local merchandise with the locals, it sells everything so much better. So this is art design. It could have just been empty, but we put things in, we filled out the space, we made it feel livable. And it makes all the difference, and now it feels more like a real movie. We're going to do a little Assassin's Creed wall climb, We're going to run through some people, and then it's just going to like, just like in the video game. When you see him coming through, Everybody was amazing. Thank you. It's all about choreography at the end of the day. We've done so many Assassin's Creed videos, but there's not a ton of real choreography. And it's like, okay, we're in San Diego, we get the Comic-Con people there, but now we're like staging people and moving around, so it's more like a movie or cinematic. So, been doing this for 10 years, so we're just trying to up the ante, if you will, on a zero dollar budget. So everything you see, we're kind of spending out of our own pocket. We're doing this as a passion project with everyone coming together, working, just passionate to tell the story for you guys. Switching out as Sonic and playing one of the guards for Assassin's Creed, so that one of we can have one of the guards being a bit better at chasing down the assassin. We're gonna have a cool parkour scene. We're on the edge of a cliff. Come over here. Look, it's impending doom. So we just want to make sure everyone's safe. The thing is, when you're making movies, people break their limits, and then that's when they get hurt. So it's super important that when you don't feel confident or comfortable, you say no. And that's why we have like an amazing record. The times where that record's kind of been broken is when someone decided to do something when they decided not to tell anybody else. I'd rather have a okay video and everyone walks away than an amazing video and then someone doesn't walk away. So for me, it's about people, making sure everyone's happy and safe. Just strided across the beams up here. It's pretty awesome. It's like super easy to do, but they're really thin and it's really high consequence. So if it goes wrong, then we're screwed. But it was really nice. I just focused super hard on making sure my feet hit it every time, and it was good. So we're filming five videos in a week and a half, two weeks, two weeks, which is a lot to do, especially when it's parkour and stunts and a lot of that complex stuff. So we're already taking in more than what's realistic. So I'm trying to juggle all of that with everyone, all the actors, stunt people, the extras, and I'm trying to lose my mind. But what are we doing right now? The horse can't run on cement, like fast. So we're gonna film that right outside of the Kiva fortress walls. The end sequence 
of our Assassin's Creed parkour video, which actually ends in Bukhara, or should be part of it, in Kiva, because it's a little bit more maintained. Like, we're literally in a fortress here in Kiva. Bukhara is, is much bigger city. It's like a city within a city within a city. So we're just kind of taking advantage of the locations, and we put them together. So we go in Kiva, and we see the exterior, and then we're actually in Bukhara, the movie magic. So we just climbed up to this great, huge, tall tower, and I guess it's the highest peak of Bukhara. But once we made it up, it, it's just unbelievable. We're overlooking these mosques, and it's like this uh, Islam academy, which is beautiful. <coughs> it's so cool. Yeah, the 48 hours getting here was so long, but it is like worth this view alone. It's so cool. Heights is real, especially for me. And the good thing is, is we're doing everything with a green screen in our office. <laughs> and we're Look not. This awesome and this screen. is 100 feet. Because this is an Assassin's Creed parkour video, we wanted to get as perfect as we could. So there were no exceptions, especially with that end sequence. Now we actually filmed the end sequence before on a cloudy day, because we weren't sure if we were gonna have another day of shooting. And it looked dramatic, it looked good, but I'm a perfectionist, and for me, I always visualize that it was during a sunset. So I was the guy that said, okay guys, we're gonna spend another evening filming it because I want it to be perfect. So we ended up coming back the next day and filming the entire sequence, everything, like four hours of filming again, just because I wanted it to take place during sunset. Now, the same thing happened on our first Assassin's Creed parkour video with Ronnie, is that intro sequence, we ended up filming three different times, driving an hour all the way out to Salt Lake City to film that sequence, because the first two days, it was cloudy slash overcast, and I always wanted it to be sunset. So for me, for some reason with Assassin's Creed, that, that ending shot of jumping off, it needs to take place during sunset, at least for me. How was it? It's good. The fun part's getting down though. The last time we were here we got up really easily and then it took us like 30 minutes to get down because it's just like super slow climb down. It's like the guards are almost like helping each other up. I can climb this. What's the problem? You're like a cartoon character. For this <laughs> You're like Mickey Mouse. No, Mickey Mouse. What is it? Coyote? Coyote. 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 It already looks magnificent. It looks really great. But the masters who built this place, you can literally see they were on another level. Can you just look on the dome? It is spherical, right? Yeah. What if I told you that it was flat? And what you're seeing is an illusion. Oh, oh no. Yes. It's flat. It's flat. So right now we're on the final day of the Assassin's Creed shoot. And we are here in this beautiful location. All of Uzbekistan is beautiful, but we're now filming the intro scene where the Pope steals the Apple of Eden, and uh, I start chasing him. We're done! So this is the cruise. <laughs> he is our fearless producer. I would only do maybe 25 25% of what you do. Like, yeah, that's okay. 
but you go extra mile. You're okay with mediocrity. You go, You're okay with mediocrity. No, but I think this is the key to success. I think that's why uh, you are such an amazing guy. And it's not only you, but the whole guy. So you did an incredible job. And yeah. the reason why we had the opportunity and the experience of a lifetime to make all these projects happen was because of this man and a lot more people, but you helped organize it. It would not have happened had you not Absolutely. been here. Absolutely. Yeah, there are a lot of people who helped us to make this project happen. We love this country. We want this country to be, how to say, known to the others. And we want more people to experience our hospitality. And one way we found out that the best way to do it is through entertainment. So by entertaining, by showing how beautiful it is, we somehow may allure people yep. and they can get here and have that experience. So now we have Kaylin Chan, our fearless assassin Ezio. This was the absolute dream project. I remember it's been an entire decade since the first Assassin's Creed meets Parkour Real Life video came out and I was one of the first people to watch it. I would comment on all of the Assassin's Creed parkour videos just hoping that Devin would see it and one day it paid off and now here I am on the other side of the world playing Ezio Adatori from Assassin's Creed 2, the most requested one. And this is like an absolute dream experience. I'm so excited, it's so awesome working with Devin and everyone here, like just the country is amazing, the whole process. I'm just like super grateful. So last time we were here was two years ago filming the Aladdin parkour video. We had a whole week. It was just one video. So while we we're out here we filmed over four videos with lots of different people and we also had to deal with COVID so traveling is really insane, super hard but still like these people are awesome. They made it happen so here we are outside in Uzbekistan thanks to the awesome country, the people, the crews is amazing. Made this whole thing happen. Super thanks once again to the country of Uzbekistan for making this project happen and Kaylin Chan. I'll have links down below in the video description to check him out on social media, but definitely check his work out. Your mind will be blown. Thanks so much for watching. Over and out.